3D Boxing here with undefeated, lightweight, blue chip prospect, Hector Tanahara. Uh, how's it going today, Tramp? Uh, going good, uh, relaxed, just ready to weigh in tomorrow. Are you on weight? Camp went well and everything? Yeah, camp has been great. You know, I had tremendous sparring. Uh, I'm already on weight, feeling good, feeling ready. Uh, this is uh, is this the, the biggest test of your young career? You have a, you have a fighter who's been in with Mikey Garcia. He's been in with Devin Haney. He's yeah. got a draw at Rocky Martinez. Mm -hmm. Is this the biggest test of your career? Yeah, I would say I would say so. Uh, you know, he's a veteran. He's been in there, in there with the likes, you know, of Mike Garcia, Martinez, Devin Haney. He's been there with some good guys. Uh, but I'm ready to put on a show uh, and, and show that I'm ready for the the big guys in my division. He's probably the best name on Devin Haney's resume. Mm -hmm. He'll probably be the biggest name on your resume, too. Is that a gauge? Do you, do you gauge yourself? Like, okay, Devin Haney was able to do this to him, so I want to beat him worse, or...? or... Yeah, exactly. Uh, you know, I would like to look better than Devin Haney did, you know, because I, I think I could beat Devin Haney. So, uh, you know, uh, I'm ready to show it, show it in this fight and show uh, in my future fights to come, hopefully get a world title this year. I want to talk to you about that, because uh, I have a side bet with my co-host, Matt Hunter, on Mixed Combat Radio, um, that if you and Haney did fight, I'd pick you. Uh, he had Haney. Is that a fight that you guys think you can get made this year, or when do you think that would be realistic? Oh, for sure. I think it'll happen this year uh, within these next couple fights, uh, hopefully in the middle of the year, uh, but definitely I think it's realistic, and it'll happen this year. The other name you're going to be linked to is obviously your stable mate, another lightweight, Ryan Garcia. You called him out uh, in Dallas after your last fight. Uh, is that a fight you think you can get made too, or are they going to keep you guys separated uh, for a while? No, I think it's a fight that could be made too, uh, hopefully uh, this year too. Um, this year, like I said, I'm looking for the big names, for the big opportunities. So uh, whatever, happens this, for whatever happens this year, I'm ready. Well, Devin Haney would be for a world title now, as he's got the WBC belt. Yeah. And uh, Garcia would be Golden Boy bragging rights. Which fight is more important to you? Which fight would you rather have if you, if you got to pick? Mm, I would say... Whichever one comes, but uh, I'm sure if I if I fight Devin and win, uh, then Ryan would want to find me. So uh, if it goes down like that, it goes down like that. We were talking. Uh, I was talking to some of the other media. Your ability to judge distance and, and range and timing is that God given, or is that things you have to perfect in, in the gym? Uh, I think it's a little bit of both. Uh, I've always been a natural boxer. I like to use my you know my length and my jab to my ability. But also being with uh, Robert Garcia, I've learned a lot more. A lot of the little pro tricks, a lot of the little things that uh, that are going to take me to the next level. You've had 18 fights now. This is your 19th fight. You've barely lost a round. Uh, Burgos is going to be a test. Mm -hmm. Are you prepared to, to go the distance with him? Are you prepared to bang him out? Because he's going to put the pressure on. Mm -hmm. Do you have to prepare differently for a veteran like that? Uh, I would just say just train harder. You know, I had tremendous sparring with, with guys that were heavier than me. Uh, Jose Ramirez, Virgil Ortiz. Uh, being in the gym and sparring those guys, um, I'm ready for this fight. You know, I'm ready for whatever he has to bring. If, if he wants to bang, I can bang. Um, I, I'm ready to go the full distance if it, if it goes the full distance. But whatever comes Saturday, uh, I'm ready for it and I'm prepared. Uh, Mario Barrios was able to win a world title at 140. You're a division just lower than that. Uh, we're expecting big things from you. Would like another world title from San Antonio. Yes, sir. Um, you have two, you know, have a lightweight and a, and a super lightweight world champion uh, from San Antonio. 2020 is going to be a big year for you. Uh, tell them where they can find you on social media. Uh, you can find me at Hector underscore Tanahata on Instagram and Twitter. Hector Tanahata Jr. on Facebook. Lightweight is probably the most loaded division of young talent, and this is the future of the division. Hector Tanahara. Appreciate it. God bless you.